Yo, what's going on? I'm Anthony Cinch on the Sim Bay Productions. We're getting ready to go vlog Comic Con 2017 at the Tampa Bay Convention Center. Catch us over there today all day. We'll be out there catching the coolest people. Um, just having a good time. So we're about to go head out there. right now. So we got a long day ahead of us. Yo, what's up? What's going on, Aramis? Not much. Just getting up. What do? We out here, man. We're right by your house right now, dog. I see you parked all the way on the left. Okay. Yo, you been <laughs> sick, bro. You out there spying or something? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hey, are you on the or something, bro? Yeah, I'm on the Okay, cool, cool. So, am I straight over here or I gotta move my car? You gotta move your car on the side. You gotta move it on the side of the building. That's where I was saying. Park on the business parking spot. Alright, bro, I got you. Yo, what's going on? We're out here in the car right now. Here in Civic, heading out to downtown to go to Comic Con. We're out here with Damien in the back. Yeah. Say what up, Damien? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Sun. That's why I have to stay up till like 4 a.m. All right, so I'm out here, gonna give you a little update. My car just got stuck in a machine for parking. Everything's going all right though now. All I gotta do is cancel the card and things should be straight. So we're walking down to the convention center now. Aramis, what you got to say on this? Man, let the show begin. Let the festivities begin. That's all I got to say on this. They can't, say, they can't see me though. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey boo. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm on the right side. Clearly, I'm in the right side. I am paying the cash. Am I in the right line? Do I need to step back? Man, I feel like I'm at the airport now. Do I need a strip? All right, out here at Comic-Con, you can pick out your free poster. Oh, they got Spider-Man this year. Yep. Wow, brother, hey, you got anything to say for the camera? You can't hear me. <laughs> say, I might be next on the hit list. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool. Thanks, man. We are here with Rogue, Shadowcat, and even Lockheed. Very nice touch-ups. How long you been cosplaying? Uh, since last year. Since last year? Just started? Pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. You we know. actually, we uh, took the, comic, the first place in comic books. In comic really? Comics. Very nice, very nice. All right, Bane. So first things first, man. Did you have to break the bat that bad? Yes. That bad? Yes. You shattered his psyche. Yeah, but I figured if he came back, I want him to fool me. Fair enough. So now I gotta ask you this. With the new Justice League movie coming out, do you think you can still handle the Bats? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh snap. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Batman's got smart over the years. I'm just saying, I mean. Yeah, but I'll go to a bit more of smoke. Okay. Outfit. Uh oh. Ooh, yeah, he's awesome. gonna have to crawl to his own kitchen to get his own bowl of cereal. <laughs> oh wait, so that means you do know he's Bruce Wayne? Definitely. I'm coming for you, Alfred. Uh-oh. Look out, Alfred. Oh. Damn. I don't think this is an even one in that. This is pretty creepy. My man, Greedo. <laughs> See, only true die-hard Star Wars fans know who Greedo is, man. Greedo has actually been around since episode one, low-key. If you look at the pirate race, little fun fact, if you look at the pirate race, you'll see him chilling with Anakin Skywalker and his other buddies right there next to Anakin's pod. This time, Greedo shot first, baby. All right, so we are here with the Pink Ranger at 10th Bay Comic Con. Now you gotta tell me. You don't, have to say, you don't have to reveal too much, but how long have you been a Power Ranger fan? Over 9,000 years. Over 9,000 no. years. <laughs> I'm about to say, that's almost as long no. as I'm going to post them. No, wait a minute. Early, early 90s. 90s. Early 90s. Early 90s, yeah, same. Don't mm -hmm. let the baby face fool you. I actually love this. So <laughs> I'm three years old. I'm actually, yeah, I know. See, I'm a lot older than I look. All right, we are here with another Red Ranger. 
and a very specially customized Red Ranger. Yes. I'm digging this helmet. Got the Green Ranger variant from yep. the Bat in the Sun. The Bat in the Sun with the very Red Ranger nice. spin. Very awesome. nice. Is that from Snake Pit Studio? No. Oh, where did you get the custom? Uh, Whittle, Whittle Wade on Facebook uh -huh. or Shark Pool One on Instagram. Oh, okay, sure. We'll it's, where I got, it's where I got this suit. Oh, very nice. Okay, and the belt and everything the, else? The Legacy Dagger, I see. Yeah, this is a Legacy Dagger, uh -huh. Legacy this. This, um, this guy actually is in here. He's a vendor. Oh, really? Sword, okay. Um, altruistic gifts. He's on Etsy and they have a shop in here. Very nice. Essie is another custom yeah. maker that I'm here. And then the, the belt and uh -huh. the holsters was that ranger girl. That ranger girl? Nice, nice. I'm here from the dead ranger girl. I'm on so, film! Yes, we have auto bombers out with Spring Ranger. Always your favorite ranger? No, actually. Really? I actually really enjoyed the yellow ranger first. Ooh. We trained but or? But then okay. when I saw the, you know, affection going on between, mm. you know, Kimberly and Tommy, uh -oh. I was kind of like, you know what? I like where she's going with this. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they, they never really gave the Yellow Ranger a romance. They started something with Billy at first, and then you know. And then it was like, you know what? No, scratch that. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, we will introduce Ricky. <laughs> we'll stay for about five episodes and then disappear. Exactly. Then we're gone. How long have you been loving Tara? Since the nineties, were you into that movie? I, I, I grew up watching them every Saturday morning. On oh, TV. you sound just like me. Back when I was three years old, back in '95. Date myself, but back in '95, yeah. you know that was it. I had to be in front of the TV if I missed that episode of Power Rangers. It hurt. Yeah. It hurt. I, I remember watching from the very first episode. I am yeah. when I was ten, so I'm yeah. dating myself now. Oh, man. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm a little older than you. Hopefully nice. not by much. But nice. No, older. no. 25. I got 25. Not gonna, you don't have to reveal your age. No, 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 we're not doing that. Sorry, that's not happening. Fellas, if you're out there, never make a woman reveal her age. No, never do it. Don't ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's walk the time. And I'm over here with Raiden. Um, for a couple questions. Hey, how long have you been cosplaying for? A couple years. All right. Um, so, with the whole Mortal Kombat 10 that just came out, well, a couple years ago, maybe one or two. But um, what do you think it would be your your main rivalry out of that game? I'm not really sure because I'm more of a classic guy. Okay. Um, I haven't I haven't uh, really played that many fighting games for yeah, for quite a while, but I'm. I'm all about the original Mortal Kombat, like Street Fighter, the original Street Fighter. So. Alright, and uh, did you make this costume or you kind of just yeah, put much. it together? I like the hat. The hat's all awesome. I was lucky that this all comes as one piece. Okay. You know, yeah, the story. So, uh, is Raiden your favorite? Uh, yeah. Right. Mortal Kombat, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And you, do you take kind of the fighting styles and use it in your everyday? You ever thought about doing martial arts before? You ever? Well, I've been but doing martial arts since I was 10. Awesome, awesome. That was my next yeah. thing because we're actually martial artists and that's what we do on our YouTube channel a lot. Yeah. That's awesome. And I'm out here with Jason and his guessing your sign, Jason Jr. Right? Maybe. Okay, right. so now we have Ghostface here with us. Okay, first thing. First question, Ghostface. What's your favorite character? Passionate. You already know. Scream. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so, um, what's your uh, favorite part of the Friday the 13th? Just the uh, whole killing part, maybe? Alright. Now, which one, though? Because my top favorite is always going to be the first one, but my second favorite had to be between two or four. Three was, eh. A little iffy, uh, well, but uh, for the first one is the best one. Yeah, I agree. Um, the third one I would have to say is my favorite. I like the fact that it was her brother and there was only one doing true. the work. That's true. That's true. Um, the fourth one, the acting was horrible. Um, yeah. I, I thought it was real stupid. New generation. Yeah. Uh, new generation. I get it. So he took a yes for that. You think that it already has enough gore? You think it could use some more? All right. So. They take it. Um, how are you guys enjoying the Comic Con so far? Good, good. All right, that's awesome. I mean, I love Nev Campbell. Uh -huh. she, she's great. True. But um, I think they need to put her to rest. Yeah. And uh, they need to concentrate more on the backstory. Uh -huh. um, I think what would be really good is if they brought it back before she was born. Ooh, and, prequel um, kind of ordeal. Kind of led up to the reason of her mother, you know, dating Billy Loomis's father I and like that. something like that. I think they need to do yeah. that. And yeah. a little, obviously more blood, yeah. more gore, oh, more course. action, better acting. Yes. Um, Kill it. 
Yes. But yes, I could, that would be me. That, that would be something I would look forward to seeing. Absolutely, especially with competing franchises coming back, like, uh, well, on and off of Halloween. They haven't really confirmed it tonight if they're going to continue with that project. Correct. But um, they also are recently, they just recently announced that Leatherface is going to get a quick run at the theaters as well. That would be me. Yeah, yeah, that's going to that's gonna look nice. I saw the uh, they have a trailer, too. I'll post that in the link description as well. But, um, yeah, they actually have a uh, trailer release on YouTube as well for that. Really? That's going to be sick. Yeah. I have to check that out. Yeah. Hey, Ernest, you want to add something? How do you feel about Future Song Mask Off? How do you feel about that song Mask Off? Would you ever do it? Mask Off? Let's just cut the interview. We don't want things to get a little rough out here. I think your throat might get cut. You might want to cut this short. This is Tampa Bay Comic Con here with Jay Bird himself along with Senpei Productions. <laughs> yeah. Here what I got Ghostface. I'm John Constantine. You're in Tampa Bay Comic Con. Two men that need no introduction, but I'm going to give it to them anyway. For the sake of the graphic that'll be up for my break. We have Deadpool, the one and only Deadpool. Mm -hmm. You may have known him, aka as Ryan Reynolds in the most recent Deadpool movie. The one of the few rated R movies that are in Marvel, and I say few because Blade was rated R, not the first. Fun fact. And we have Spider-Man now. Tell the crowd what version of Spider-Man are you? This is very unique. You uh, have like kind of a military shield kind of thing. Yeah, this is kind of my own this is kind of my own take on uh, Spider-Man. I just figure I make it more like prettier soon. Yeah. yeah. It's practical, right? I mean, yeah. come on, let's, let's be real. If you can hit sandbags, that's a hard hit. Exactly. That's a hard hit to take. And I mean, if you got enemies like Doc Ock, you can probably pierce through your body with a tentacle. I mean, it just makes sense to have something like that. Exactly. Plus, so hanging out with this dude. Oh, oh, yeah. I like to shoot my load every now and then. It's ridiculous, and every now and then it, you know, it hits the wrong people, so. Oh, I'm supposed to say that. Hold on, real life. Woo! <laughs> okay. Hey, who, who do y'all think? Who's better, Deadpool or Spider Man? Ah, uh, both of Okay, you don't like you no more. Deadpool or Spider Man? You shut your face. I'm just kidding, I love you. Yeah. Ah, God. <laughs> Who's better, Deadpool or Spider Man? Deadpool. My man. Okay. Deadpool. All right. Deadpool. All right. Oh, one and one. One and one. one, one. one. Deadpool or Spider Man? Oh, wait, we got one and one and we got a tie. Who do we have? Deadpool or Spider Man over here? Deadpool. Oh, two and one. Who's more both? Deadpool. Deadpool or Spider Man? Oh, sorry, buddy. If it helps, you're still one of my favorites for sure. Well, thank you very much. For sure. But I think they bat in the sun. I think you might need to schedule another superpower beat now, and this might be it right now. I know, right? For real. Yes. All right, Deadpool all day. All day Number one. Okay. I'm out here with us. The beautiful Electra. So, Electra, um, what do you think? Uh, what's your intentions on working with Daredevil? Is he a good guy to work with, you think? You like him? a little bit of history. Oh, okay, okay. A little history, okay. Okay. So I know that you're here as Electra, but do you have any other Marvel characters that you much rather would prefer kind of a second category to dress up as or another character that you prefer? My favorite character favorite. is Electra is kind of ninja ish Psylocke. I love Okay, her Psylocke, that's a good one. First off, I gotta ask you this. With Justice League coming out, are you excited to see the bat in the new movie? Well, I was kind of pretty excited, but I kind of was because the train was in it. And who would you love to tangle one on one with in the Marvel Universe? If you had your choice, any other lovely ladies from Marvel? Um, I know that's kind of a tough one. Maybe Katie from X Men? That's a good choice. Shadow Cat? Shadow Cat. Mm, actually, I think I saw her wandering around here a little bit earlier. You might have to, we might be able to pre arrange that. She had a lot of She was walking around with Rogue a little bit earlier. So that might be a nice little matchup for y'all, too. Uh -huh. I think you ladies can handle it, though. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, thank you guys for joining us at Tampa Bay Comic Con. We have had a blast. Again, once again, I'm here with my boy Anthony Sancho on Silver yep. Productions. We've met all, all kinds of celebrities, heroes, villains. We've met all kinds of, all kinds of things, man. We're having an awesome time out here. We really don't want to leave, but we got to get back. It's looking a little cloudy out there. So, again, this is Aaron Shanti Jackson, aka J Bird of Unity Breakers, here with Anthony Sancho on Silver Productions. And no more for not here. Make sure to like and subscribe and always stay tuned for the future videos for next week. Uh, don't forget to leave the comments. I'm Anthony Cintron and I'll catch you later. Get at McDonald's getting ready to go to Comic Con and waiting on Air Mist. Plus for a limited time. Carpool man. Do it on here, bro. You're so black I can't see you right now. Yo! Looking like a silhouette. <laughs> Yeah, we're just
plate now? No, no. I'm just waiting for this thing to do what it needs to do. Just me. It's so, so good. This is why you always read machines before you put stuff in it. How the hell? Can I use that? Yeah. Be very delicate because I don't know if that's going to push in or out. I know, right? It might be like sense and then... I got this. Here, let me hit. Let me... Oh, no. next Friday for more exclusive videos. We're out. Ladies, go and kiss for the camera. Carly Quinn here is super great production at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Oh, try it again, try it again. We got Sit Bay with a Unity record. Sit. 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 You got it. Sit. Sit like a sit? Like a smell? I'm sorry. Sit It's the only way she's gonna. Sit Bay production. Nope, Sit Bay production. Unity Records. Got it. Same production. Unity. Unity Records. Unity Records. Yep. Unity Productions. Unity Records. Yep. This is Sydney. This is Harley Quinn with Sydney Productions and Unity Records. And you're watching Sydney Productions. Sydney Productions. Yep. Try it again. Sydney Productions. Unity Records. Yep. Sydney Productions. I can't hear you louder. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Y'all got me for the same Alright, you ready? Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta hurry up since it's getting busy. Go, go, go. Hold on, hold on. Go! Oh.